This is Andy Purwell for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by the juggernaut Joe Joyce over Zoom. Joe, first and foremost, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Um, I've checked into the hotel now. I'm in the bubble. I've had my COVID test. We'll get the results tomorrow. So, yeah, everything's going well, I guess. Just uh, relaxing and uh, waiting for, for the new day. Joe, you, I and everybody probably has everything crossed, but obviously everything goes to plan tomorrow and yourself and Daniel can fight on Saturday. But with that in mind, it is fight week. How does it feel to know that you're actually finally here after all of the delays? Yeah, it's about time. I uh, just need to get over it, really. I just want to um, skip the press conference and just go straight to the fight. But there we go. <laughs> How frustrating a period has this been for you, Joe? These past, well, this past year or so, of waiting around for this fight. How, how have you kind of dealt with it mentally, knowing that it's always been put off for reasons out of either of your hands? It's just the mad time um, we're living in, and it's happened and it's happening, and we just have to have to deal with it. And it's great that the fight is happening now, so. Can't get weight into the ring and um, beat the ball. This seems to be like a, a real grudge match now, Joe. It's been a lot of back and forths between yourself and Daniel in the build up. Um, Daniel, with some, some personal comments to, to yourself and your family, with kind of that in mind, does that just kind of amp up your frustrations and what you want to kind of take out on Daniel come fight night? Listen, he, he said what he said and I hope he regrets it. If not, I'm just going to bash him up anyway. So, <laughs> for good measure. Joe, I'm sure this fight has been played out in your own mind many a times. So, for everybody who is tuning in, how do you expect the fight to play out? Um, it's going to start off rough and ready with the wild landing some big shots or trying to land some big shots and, and exchange it with me. And um, we'll just see how it goes from there. Joe, what do you make of people suggesting, certainly over social media, that it will either be Daniel early or you later or over points? Do you think that it could go any other way? Uh, I don't plan on taking it to points with him, particularly. And I don't plan on getting knocked out either. So um, however I win, um, preferably by knockout, will be OK. Better not by knockout, though, or stoppage or or. He, he runs out of gas and I pound him to oblivion. Joe, do you feel any pressure because of how long you have been waiting for this fight and because of what could be in store for you, provided you were successful on Saturday? Um, you're just going to have to run that up by me again because it cut out a little bit. Do you feel any pressure at all heading into Saturday, knowing that you've waited so long for this fight and what's at stake if you were to be successful? Uh, no, I'm quite level-headed and I just get on with it and it's time to um, shut up the people that... It'd be great to shut up the people that have doubted me and um, them all to jump on board with the juggernaut train and then move on to the world title, which I've got into professional boxing for. So obviously having Ishmael Salas over here as well, how, how key is that being to be able to get him back over to help you for your camp? Yeah, it's key, man, because he's got the tactics and the technique. And I'm so used to his, um, his style that it's really easy to get back in, let him get back in the, rain, in the head of the reins and guide me to victory. Joe, in the build-up to this, Frank's been vocal about if Daniel was to win, he sets up a potential fight with Alexander Usyk if AJ vacates at the WBO belt. In your own eyes, do you see that if you win, then you should be given that opportunity if it was to, to happen with AJ vacating? Yeah, 100%. You've got, you've got that past experience with um, Alexander in the amateurs. I, was, yeah. I actually did an interview with David Price and he fully believes you'd cause Alexander a, a variety of problems if you was to meet him the pros. How different do you feel it would be um, from your amateur um, previous amateur meeting? The, there's more rounds, the gloves are different, I'm more skilled now, and 
So I, yeah, I just think it, it like it will have to keep me off for twelve rounds, and I'll have I'll be more prepared, mate. And world titles on the line. Sign me up. <laughs> so this fight must mean so much to you now. Just talk to me about the excitement heading into Saturday to finally be able to get in there. Um, it'll be more exciting when I'm. I I don't really get excited to be honest. I'm I'm a bit of one of them, you know, like them extreme sports people that don't really get excited. I'll, I'll probably be, I'll probably enjoy the fight and like I prefer afterwards when I've won the fight and I've felt that I've done a good job and I watch it back and I'm like yeah <laughs> and that's when I'm like really excited and buzzing. Joe, obviously this one this time round the fight um, it isn't on pay per view. How easy was it or how difficult was it to come to that decision and what I imagine maybe you'd have taken a, a lesser person the same with Daniel. Yeah, had to take a haircut as. Um... Frank would say, but hey, I, I needed I needed this kind of fight to progress in my career, so it's one like you know, it's, it, and I wanted the certainty that the fight was going to happen and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it is, but from beating to bar, then it definitely lines me up for some bigger purses. So just a couple more uh, ones from me. The bookies have Daniel as a considerable favourite. What are your thoughts on on the bookies and their their statistics? Well, in the words of Ali, if you want to lose your money, you better bet on Sonny. I mean, you bet on Sonny or something like that. I don't know. I'm not good with them stuff, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, Joe, just took a, a couple of things away from this fight. Uh, sticking with heavyweight division. Somebody, I don't know whether you'd have crossed paths at all, whether you've been sparring or not, but Dave Allen announced in his retirement recently. Just what are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, yeah, he's uh, I mean, it's up to him, really. He's, he said he's you know, he's you know, he's taken a lot of heavy shots uh, over the years and he's he's done well for himself, he's been in some good fights, had he's done. Or what he, I guess, believes he, he can do in the sport. And, you know, it's up to him. He got a couple of properties out of it and that. So, yeah, happy days. He can um, he can put um, hang up the gloves if it's, you know, it's his choice. And I respect him for it. And we're obviously gearing up towards the AJ Pula fight as well in December. Just your thoughts on that fight and a little preview from you, Joe. How do you expect it to play out? You never know. It's a heavyweight boxing, but yeah, look forward to the fight and see what they're both made of. Yeah, what's the date? December the the twelfth. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll be tuning in. And then the final, I said that was the final, final, final one. Um, Canelo Callum Smith on December nineteenth, Joe, down at Super Middleweight, a huge fight. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, that's a big fight, man. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, good payday as well. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I hope um, Callum Smith does well and does the business. Canelo is a you know formidable force, so he has to be. Yeah, he has to be on his A game, and I hope he gets a victory. Right, Joe. I'm going to leave the final two uh, two uh, messages for yourself. Firstly, a message to Daniel Dubois ahead of Saturday night. Mate, just. I can't even be bothered with the talk with messaging the bar, man. It, like, let me just like, I don't even, I just want to get the fight on and bust him up. All right, then, Joe, um, away from Daniel, a message to everybody who unfortunately cannot be there, but will be tuning in at home. Yeah, just enjoy the show. Um, so you couldn't be there in person, but when this is all sorted out, eventually when the crowds are back in i think the, there's been talk of the crowds coming back already like i think it was it like so the crowds are looking at getting crowds back in for um after this lockdown so december the third events onwards from there i think it is yeah so look forward to seeing me live after that date <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> joe it's been a pleasure i appreciate you to your time um, enjoy the rest of your evening best of luck with saturday and thank you for speaking to boxing social all right 